Hi, so I just wanted to make a little video about a new 3D printing technique I've been testing out. I'm using some of this, uh, what I think is parchment paper, to create a split in half of my print. Um, I'm printing with some flexible filament. Uh, I believe it's called FlexFill. Um, uh, this seems to have worked out for me, but just a little disclaimer, I'm not sure if this is completely safe to do for everyone, so just try this at your own risk, but it seems pretty harmless and it worked out for me. Also just uh, sorry for the video and audio quality, this is my first video, so it's not, uh, not great, but hopefully any videos I do in the future will be a bit better. Okay, so you can see here I've got a little wrist strap and I'm going to be focusing on this side here, so um, you can see I've cut this um, and I'm just going to be printing this section here so that I don't have to waste material on all the rest while I'm dialing in this process. But you can see here I've got a little slit there, got this hole here, if I go for a little, little cross section, there we go, just like this, you can see there's a little groove which I'm going to put a knob in that has a flat base which sticks up through this hole. Um, I've given myself, uh, this is 0.2 millimeters and that's the layer height I'm using so I'm hoping that um, there's going to be one layer here that I can then insert my uh, paper in that gap and then hopefully this top part will print directly on top of that. Uh, so next I will hop over to my slicer and show you how I slice this. Okay, so here we are in Prusa Slicer. I went through a few iterations of uh, trying to print this out. Um, I was finding I left too small of a gap here, um, so I wasn't actually getting a layer gap, uh, but this seems to be um, working well, so I'll just show you how I slice that. Uh, I'll come over here, just like that. So there's my slice, uh, and I'll show you the layers here. So you can see there's one layer right here that prints on its own. Just show you from the bottom there. So there's that one layer that'll give me that gap that I'm looking for. Uh, and so what I did is there's this cool feature in Prusa Slicer. Uh, it seems like uh, if you go to the layer above where you want something to happen, you can right click this little plus sign here. Um, I think the default is color change, but what I'm going to do is add a print pause or pause print there, uh, whatever, that's fine. Um, so there you go. And now basically what will happen is that uh, it'll print all the way up to actually this layer. It'll stop it'll pause uh, and then it will when I press resume it'll start printing this layer and so what I've done is printed up to here I've put my put some parchment paper across there uh, and then resumed and have it start printing on top just like that So you can see here, I've just got my parchment paper set up, wrapped around underneath the bed there. It's just held on by the magnetic bed. And we'll see how this goes. Um, 
go. So I've just taken the parchment paper out here. Seems to be in good shape. And here's my part. You can see it's got that flap that can come up there. Peel this off. Connected here. Nice, there we go. Flap up like that, and now I'll show you what I've been doing this for. Got these little knobs here, so this can Tough with one hand here, but get the picture and should just pop right over there. Now, if I was to chuck some glue in there and seal that up, it should be pretty decent as a little uh, watch strap or something like that. I'm going to be using it for. Uh, a wrist strap so um, hopefully the I can get the top layer here to stick to the parchment a little bit better <clears throat> I got some of this uh, 3d lac that uh, works really well for sticking to my bed I think I might try putting that on top of the parchment paper so I get a little bit of stick um, and hopefully I can get this top edge to sit down a little bit better and then I will, I tried crazy gluing, um, that didn't seem to work too well, so I'll see if I can find some other glue that might work a little bit better for this stuff. So the 3D lac didn't work so great. Uh, I'm gonna try a new method, just using a small piece not tucked under the bed, and I'm gonna try with crazy glue to stick it down to the existing piece. Um, I was having some troubles with the edges curling up and getting caught uh, and I think that's what ended up causing it to completely fail so hopefully this works so I've act actually decided uh, glue stick might work better here so I've got this uh, glue stick on both sides and it seems to be a little bit heavier um, hopefully that'll stick down really nice so there you can see I've got my glue sticked paper stuck down to the part and the bed a little bit Hopefully, uh, my next layer will stick onto there. All right, so here's my part. It completed, and I just picked it off. You can see there's a bit of glue residue there. That's glue stick. Um, I tried a couple different things, and what ended up working was my 3D lac. Oh, jeez. Okay, my 3D lac here. Um, on the top side that was going to be printed on so that would be the bottom side of this little flap and then uh, two passes of glue stick that came with my printer here on the bottom side and I stuck it to this uh, top side of the under flap as well as to the bed um, and I was watching it as it printed and it seem to print pretty well flawlessly um, you can see it's a bit of a weird surface but um, all the edges connected and everything so I'm pretty happy with that um, now let's try adding in our little peg here Boom. and there you go clean some of these strings off here So I'm just taking my soldering iron here and melted those edges closed and there you go, it's all sealed up and hopefully that'll stay. I'm just going to trim off the edges and you can see there's a little bit of extra stuff there so I'm going to try and clean that up and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that.